हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सॉल्व दिस नाइस मैथ ओलम्पेडल जबरा प्रॉब्लम सो हियर वी हैव एम क्यूब्ड एंड इट्स होल स्क्वेयर रूट इक्वल्स टू 125 स्क्वेयर रूट सो वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ एम सो हियर आवर फर्स्ट टारगेट इज टू एलिमिनेट दिस स्क्वेयर रूट ऑन बोथ ऑफ द साइड्स सो दैट इन ऑर्डर टू एलिमिनेट दिस स्क्वेयर रूट वी नीड टू टेक द स्केयरिंग ऑन बोथ ऑफ द साइड्स so when we take squaring it will be written as m cubed m square root of m cubed and its whole square equals to square root of 125 and its whole cubed so here we just take the uh, squaring on both of the sides of the given equation uh, and now you see here this two and square root are gone uh, uh, sorry this two and this square root are also gone so we will obtain here m cubed equals to 125 so now here uh, we will move this 125 in the left hand side and it will be written as m cubed minus 125 equals to 0 so here we will convert this equation into the cubic formula form so that here we need to uh, write this 125 as 5 cubed we know that 5 cubed equals to 125 and this whole equation equals to 0 uh, so after this step we will apply here the cubic formula you know that if we have uh, a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus ab plus b square So according to this cubic formula, we will write, uh, we will expand our above equation as in this form. So here our a is m and our b is five. So when you write a minus b, it means that uh, here our a is m minus b is five into this is a square. So here our a is m square plus a b. Again, our a is m and b is five plus b square, so b is five square, and this whole equation equals to zero. So further in the next step, uh, here we need more simplifications, and now we uh, rewrite this equation as m minus five times of m square plus this is a five m plus this five square equals to twenty five and this whole equation equals to zero. And now here we divide this equation into the two cases. Uh, so the first case is we write here m minus five equals to zero, and the second case is we write. Uh, m square plus 5m plus 25 equals to 0 so here we have uh, these two cases and uh, now we focus on these two cases and we find the values of m so here you have uh, we move this minus m to the right hand side it will be written as m is equals to plus 5 this is the our first uh, real root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other root we need to solve this quadratic equation so this is a quadratic equation in standard form with variable m and here we will apply the quadratic formula so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 5 and c equals to 25 Uh, and we state the quadratic formula as m equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus four times of ac divided by two times of a. So this is the our uh, quadratic formula, and now we need to substitute the values of a, b, and c here. So that first we substitute the value of b. So the value of b is five. So when we put it here, it will becomes Minus five plus minus square root of b square. So here our b is five square minus four times of a is one and c is twenty five and it is divided by two times of a. So here our a is also equals to one. And now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as m equals to minus five plus minus square root of uh, This five square equals to twenty-five minus this is four times of twenty-five divided by two times of one is equals to two. 
and now in the next step uh, we need to focus into the square root term and it will be written as minus 5 plus minus square root of here we need to take common 25 and we get the remaining values are 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 2 and now in the next step uh, here you have m is equal to minus 5 plus minus here we need to apply the square root separately on both of these values and we get here square root of 25 and this is 1 minus 4 equals to uh, minus 3 divided by 2 so here we need a uh, more simplification and it will be written as minus 5 plus minus here you know that square root of 25 equals to 5 and here we again break the square root and we can write the square root on 3 and square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 so uh, here we have m is equals to minus 5 plus minus this is 5 times of square root of 3 and here we know that when negative sign appears inside the square root it will becomes iota or in other words you know that minus 1 square root equals to iota so that we will substitute this definition of iota here and it is divided by 2 so uh, finally we have uh, the other two complex roots of the given equation are uh, m is equals to minus 5 plus minus 5 times of square root of 3 iota divided by 2 these are the two complex roots of the given equation and we have the one real root of the given equation r m is equals to 5 so these are the three uh, roots uh, of the given equation and this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos